And keep it going for your next stand-up comedian. He is a Blackwater regular. Give it up for Thomas Lundy. So I've been working on not dying alone. My friends tried to set me up with a girl. She's a speech pathologist. You guys know what a speech pathologist is? Yeah. That's someone who gets paid professionally to tell when people are lying. So that means she's a pro. Fuck that. I barely have the self-confidence to go on dates with regular girls. Now I'm supposed to sit across the table from this woman with superpowers. I don't know how the fuck that's done. As a stand-up comedian, 90% of what I say is fiction. I, needless to say, I didn't go on that date. I'm not good at not lying to people. I'm lying to you right now. There was no speech pathologist. I don't even go on dates. Because I have no self-confidence. Keep up. Ah, oh, God. I wrote all these fucking jokes, and then people started talking about squids. Why the fuck would you name yourself squid? Like, if you get to pick any animal in the animal kingdom to name yourself after, like, I'm sure it was like, hey, dude, do you want to be uh, eagle? Or, like, bear? Or lion? Or shark? He's like, no, what's that thing? That, like, blobby piece of shit that just kind of, like, hangs out at the bottom? and just like stings people and make other people feel shit. No, that's me, squid. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I would have thought you had enough attention directed towards you with the fucking jacket and the fucking hair and stuff. But no, I had to show up and have a bunch of comedians to feel good about myself, that's cool. So I've been working on not dying alone. It's not really going too good for me. Guys like sports? Of course you don't. I'm in a vegan punk bar. Sports are on the progressive shit list. I didn't know that awe-inspiring performances by dedicated professionals were toxically masculine. I'm sorry. Like, I thought I was, like, looking up to really great people. But no. You know, other people have to give me dissertations on Dragon Ball Z plot lines and every fucking Batman comic you've ever seen. No, I look up to dudes that only know how to fucking cash paychecks. But keep telling me about, you know, that fictional orphan with reclusive tendencies. It's okay. I love it. Keep shelling out $15 for another Batman movie. I'm just gonna watch Steph Curry win millions of dollars for being good at stuff. Uh, I really like ice cream. I like ice cream way too much. But I don't like mint chocolate chip ice cream. It's bullshit. It's not real ice cream. Uh, yeah. More attention directed towards the audience members. Mint chocolate chip ice cream. Where was I with that? Yeah, it's bullshit. Uh, because mints are the only thing that's not really a candy. They don't even have a wrapper on them, but nobody picks them out because they taste like shit. Uh, that's not even really a joke that I was trying. I'm trying to work on not dying alone. <laughs> God damn it. You could have been bear. You could have been eagle. You could have been shark. My new name is the Flying Bear Shark. Thank you for your time. Flying Bear Shark, everybody. Keep it going for Flying Bear Shark. Let's hear it for him. Let's hear it for him. Now, you were doing great, Thomas, and then you, uh, you, you went after them for no apparent reason. You're the only guy not getting heckled. It was like, fuck it. I, I wanted this. I wanted this. All right.